friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Ciao, good morning. So today is Sunday, November 6th. It's actually 8 o'clock p.m. 8 o'clock. I mean 8 o'clock a.m. y'all. I'm sorry 8 o'clock on the dot in the morning y'all. So before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. Um, to my amazing supporters, thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support. I appreciate every, oops, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all so much for y'all amazing support. So in this video, obviously it's a get ready with me y'all and I am in the mood to like beat my face today get all cute like literally do a full face makeup um because I've been watching like a lot of makeup tutorials and baby so I already did my brows um I got my lips I already did my lips and stuff so I just gotta do eyeshadow and mascara and then like just a little bit around my face or whatever um and I wanted to talk to y'all while I do it um my outfit is super cute today I already picked it out I already know what I'm wearing but while I'm doing it I already started styling my hair too so that's why I got this do-rag on because you know when we do the sleek ponytails baby they gotta be flat they gotta be you can't have no flyaways no nothing like it gotta just be on point okay so anyways i'm super excited to talk to y'all about this topic y'all know like i've been on this relationship tangent like i just want to help you know like in relationships i feel like it's something that a lot of people can relate to so y'all i decided to watch this show um called from scratch on netflix Woo! if you haven't watched it like baby if you haven't watched it you need to watch it like you are missing out um i'm gonna try to talk to y'all while i'm getting ready but let me just talk to y'all first because yeah um anyways if you haven't watched it you gotta watch it and if you're gonna watch it you're gonna need a box of tissue because you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be crying your eyes out like it is such a beautiful show it's such an inspiring show and i just wanted to tell y'all like takeaways that i took from the show one two three four five so i have five written out on my phone or whatnot i loved that show like it's such a beautiful show y'all and y'all should definitely definitely watch it so i'm gonna pause for a second um, well, I'm going to tell you my first, first takeaway, and then I'm going to be getting ready, and then I think after I'm done getting ready, or in between, I'm going to find ways to talk, because sometimes, like, doing my makeup, I haven't done a certain thing in a long time, I'm not too positive I could talk while I'm doing it, so. First, first takeaway I took away from that show, baby ciao okay i want to go to italy like it's so freaking beautiful i already have wanted to go like that's one of me and my husband's like dream places to go but when you watch that show like you are really going to want to go like it is so beautiful like just everything is such a romantic like city the scenery the artwork like everything is just beautiful so that was my first takeaway like you know you want to do something but then like you see something and you're like okay now i really want to do it so now i really want to go to italy okay so watch the show y'all please so i'm gonna get ready talk to y'all at the same time and we're gonna talk about from scratch if you haven't seen it well, maybe this will motivate you to see it, but go watch the show. It's a really, really, really good show. Okay, so um, I'm also share with y'all the palette that I'm going to use in this makeup video or get ready with me, whatever you want to call it. And this one, I'm going to link it in the description box. Look for it on Amazon. It's called Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek. <laughs> and it's such a beautiful palette. Um, I haven't like used it in full as I wanted to, but I'm about to show y'all. So 
it comes with these little palettes right here i'm gonna use this one today because it's like white and silver glitter or whatever and goldish and um the fit that i'm wearing is like white and silver with goldish in it and then for my creases i'm gonna use like this brownish one probably or maybe this one that rose gold one is like so tempting to use and then for highlight of course i'm gonna use that and then it has this also in there so this is like the blush palette um and then i forgot what the third one is called so eyeshadow blushers and illuminators so illuminators to me is like highlight or whatever so i'm probably gonna use either this one or this one not sure yet whichever one blends in with my face definitely gonna do like a tiny tiny bit of blush i'm not a blush type of girl but we're gonna have some fun i'm just in the mood to like have some fun with my makeup and the fun thing is actually i could turn to y'all like this time because usually when i'm getting dressed i face this way but i think i will be able to face y'all this time and i'm not gonna be scared to make this video long sometimes i'm too scared to make my video long and i feel like i end up limiting myself on things that i can't say so we gonna talk about it then i'm gonna do my hair and stuff like, i'm just excited y'all i love this version of me like where i just get dressed it don't have to be a special occasion like i am the special occasion okay now i just put that sh on don't care what nobody say don't care what nobody think it's for me like i'm the special occasion okay so um we gonna get into it um, I got my eyeshadow brush right here. I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna talk to y'all. So, this one, oh my god. This is like, I, cause I try to write down stuff that um they said during the show that I liked, um, that I felt like resonated with me and that I feel like would be helpful to my people, to my supporters. Um, so the first, first thing, I'm gonna read it verbatim and then I'm gonna just like freestyle and talk about it. So um, the mom was talking to the daughter and the daughter had called the mom saying, hey mom, I found love, blah, 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 blah. And at first she wasn't like buying it or whatever, but um, the powerful thing that I feel like her mom said, cause her mom wasn't buying it because she was concerned about her daughter's relationship with herself. So she said, your relationship with yourself is just as important as your relationship with others. Oh, if I could throw this phone, I would, because that is so true. That is so powerful. And I feel like not enough people know that, not enough people recognize that. Um, and it says, and she said, not, she didn't say this, but I took the, I put this in my own words, nourish it just as much as you nourish your relationship with others. And that is true. I feel like sometimes, and I've made this mistake where you spend your whole life just chasing guys, chasing a significant other. Let me say that. Cause I want my guys to relate to me too, because I know some guys that are like that too. They spend their whole life, um, just chasing a woman in a sense and like she said your relationship with yourself is just as important as your relationship with others and that's why i think personally that some people should stay single for some time like if you fresh out of a relationship stay single yo make like fix your relationship with yourself make sure you have a good relationship with yourself like because it's just as important as your relationship with anybody else i feel like sometimes we get so hung up on our relationship with other people but baby it's like what about your relationship with yourself like is your relationship with yourself good because if your relationship with yourself is not good i promise you even if you get into a, a happy relationship that happiness in that relationship like it will it possibly can always be there but that relationship with yourself is also important so my encouragement is like make time to have a relationship with yourself and some of you probably don't know what i mean by that but can you just the same way you could get up and do for other people can you get up and do for yourself 
You know what I'm saying? Like I used to be like that where it's like I would go so hard for everybody else and I would not go as hard for myself. But now, don't play with me. I go hard for myself. Even harder than I go for other people because I realize I'm just as important as the people that I want to go hard for. You get what I'm trying to say? So my encouragement is build a relationship also with yourself. Do be willing to do for yourself like yes it's nice to do for others but do for yourself like spend money on yourself take care of yourself maintain yourself like that's one thing like i can say i enjoy with myself i love with myself don't get me wrong it's amazing having a man having a husband having someone that could do for you but when you could also do for yourself that's pride like that's beautiful to me when you could go out walk into a store and buy yourself whatever you want you could go get your hair done however you want your nails done however you want and do it for yourself you get what i'm trying to say so that is my um oh, i hate when this happens i hate when um what's any makeup get on my contact lenses but a trick around that is um get some eye drops drop it in there and it's gonna flush it right out so um anyways y'all so i think that's enough eyeshadow um of this kind so i'm gonna blend it and i need to um utilize this because i again when the stuff get on your lashes it's easy it end up easily falling into your um onto your contact lenses and i genuinely hate that like so anyways y'all um yeah moral of the story is have a relationship with yourself develop a relationship with yourself maintain your relationship with yourself even when you get into that's another thing even when you get into a committed relationship with somebody else don't neglect yourself stay true to yourself still take care of yourself and maintain your relationship with yourself don't throw that relationship out the window now when i say that relationship if you used to like dress nice put that on like take care of yourself a certain way before you got into a committed relationship continue to do that if you used to watch tv if you used to do certain things like just quality time of certain things continue to do that i promise you if that person is meant to stay with you they are going to stay with you trust and believe they are going to stay with you and you have to know that sometimes we get scared and feel like damn if i don't commit my whole life my whole um time to this person are they gonna leave me are they still going to be with me yes they still are going to be with you if they truly and genuinely love you you get what i'm saying so that's my encouragement is make sure that you maintain your relationship with yourself continue to nourish it continue to learn to spend time alone because again like i'm saying sometimes when you do get in a relationship with others you don't spend time to think your own thoughts to make your own decision in a sense like one of my biggest uh pet peeves is when someone gets in a relationship and now all their decisions are now catered to that person i don't like that one thing that i could say i'm grateful for i'm blessed for like with my husband we don't do that like his decisions ain't catered to me and my decisions aren't catered to him now don't get me wrong there are boundaries obviously but besides those boundaries my decisions aren't catered to him and his decisions aren't catered to me he's still like a lot of people are always like you are happy like when it comes to a marriage you're happy like second to none type of happy but that's because my husband let me be myself and i let him be himself people talk people say what they want to say 
but we don't care we're we're not each other's prisoner like you know what i'm trying to say we're not animals where we're caging each other in and being like oh you gotta be like this or you gotta be like that no you don't be yourself i fell in love with you being yourself and even after you get into a relationship i want you to continue to be yourself don't change to make me happy don't be less than who you are to make me happy absolutely not so we gonna move on to the next topic um so i picked up live for you and not your parents and i say this with all due respect i love my parents shout out to my mama shout out to my daddy i love them but in the movie like with the couple the parents may not support your dreams or the person that you're with but keep going they'll eventually come around if you genuinely love somebody if you genuinely want to be with somebody because i've seen that um a few times too where like some people are in love like they genuinely love somebody but their parents don't approve of them and they end up missing out and enjoying like genuine true love and i don't think that's fair so in the show um as y'all might have seen the for the husband um his dad like his dad his mama was cool with it but his dad was not for like his relationship he just wasn't he felt like the choices he made to follow his dreams as a chef um was a bad choice but the crazy thing is him following his dreams to become a chef he met the love of his life as a result right a long a shortly i mean not shortly after but it took a little bit of time after the dad came around so that's what i'm saying make your decision love your parents respect them don't disrespect them but make your own choice if you genuinely love somebody be with them you understand what i'm saying your family will have healthy concerns hear them out if those concerns are valid definitely consider but if they ain't valid be with who you want to be with you know what i'm saying eventually they will eventually come around to love and accept the person that you are with period like and i think a lot of the times especially in relationships even in following our dreams we're trying to get validation from the people that loves us the most but it's back to the first point that i was making your relationship with yourself is just as important as your relationship with others when you learn to validate yourself you don't need validation from nobody else trust and believe me you absolutely do not and you just have to be okay with that like but that relationship i feel like it takes nourishing it takes development it's not an easy um terms to come to it's just not i'm running out of time y'all so yeah but it's just not an easy thing like it's not easy to come to terms um it's not easy to come to those terms but you can certainly grow you can certainly evolve and come and, and grow as a person that's the point that i'm trying to make you don't have to remain the person that you are but you can grow and evolve you can work on your relationship with yourself that way once your relationship with yourself is solid i promise you you're not going to need validation from nobody and i'm not saying disrespect your parents i'm not saying don't have respect for them don't consider their concerns that they have for you but build a solid enough relationship with yourself that if you want to go be a cook you will go and be a cook because that's what the guy did the daughter wanted to be an artist she followed her dream to be an artist and that's why she flew to italy and again my point if both of them didn't follow their dreams they would have never met each other trust and believe me so whatever dreams you have whatever goals you have follow it your parents might not support you in the beginning whether it's with your significant other whether it's with your um what you call it whether it's with your career but eventually i promise you they are going to come around like they are going to come around and when they come around it's going to be beautiful it's going to be amazing so don't worry about your parents not supporting you from the jump um just don't that's my biggest um what you call it my biggest encouragement to y'all 
that are watching and I think I'm pretty much done. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm in the mood to put on blush. I think my face is just gonna stay like this and I'm gonna put some set spray on, put my outfit on and then yeah, but I hope this video is helping y'all, encouraging y'all and motivating y'all because it was super inspiring to me and honestly that <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stick this story time in here, but I could relate to that show like so much. Even um, <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there because I feel like it doesn't matter at this point. But um, even the way like she met her significant other and she had to make a choice. I was in that same position like I was in a long-term relationship I was already friends with my husband but we just connected like on a whole nother level and then like and then because of what I was going through in that relationship I was always sad like for not not the whole time but towards the end like where we was like gonna break up and just part ways and then with my husband I was just always happy and one day my husband just got frustrated and he was like you gotta choose like either you're gonna keep being over here crying or you're gonna be over here and be happy and in the show that's how it was like the guy that she was with like the first guy he was just serious he was running late to events like he was so like he wasn't as supportive as he could have been and then the guy that was the cook he was like i'm tired of waiting for you like you gotta pick because when she was with him you know she was happy she was smiling her friends actually thought that was her guy because he was so much more supportive than the actual like guy that she was dating so that's a little story time but i was able to relate to that where it was like damn there's here's somebody that's making you happy like smile genuinely supportive to you in so many different ways and here's somebody else you're not really happy with them but you're holding on to it so tightly so that's another thing if you're in a relationship choose it's okay to choose it's okay if that relationship don't work out it was hard for me to accept that my previous relationship wasn't gonna work out because of everything I wanted in it but I came to terms and I just accepted the fact that it wasn't gonna go how I wanted it to go and I just moved on I promise you it was not easy it was not easy I cried a lot of tears having to let go of that relationship but it was worth it now like that's all I gotta say so I don't think I got nothing. Well, I got more for y'all, but I, I'm so nervous about time. I think I'm doing fine with time. Sometimes I like get overly concerned, but I'm gonna, um, cause I already got my outfit picked out. Um, I wanted to put on lashes, but that's going out the window, baby. All right, what's the next topic? Um, I told y'all so much in here, so. The other one that I took away from it is similar, like all the pointers ties in together. But the other thing that I took away from it is fight for what you want. And as I told y'all, like, it's not easy fighting for what you want because oppositions like come against you. And that's another thing, even after you get what you want, I'm about to drop some bars, some gems. So I hope you got your notepad. I hope you got your notepad. Because I'm about to say something very, very, very important. Even after you get what you want, you got to fight to keep it. A lot of people think that you just get what you want and that's it. No, you got to put in effort. You got to put in time. You got to fight to keep that relationship. I told y'all in one of my previous videos, when me and my husband was dating, we dated for three years. Even after we got together, year one was beautiful. The honeymoon, the high, the happy, ha ha. Year two, ooh, we faced some challenges, like real life challenges. And it was like, okay, are we gonna stay together or are we gonna be apart? We had to fight for what we want. Even after we got married, we almost got divorced. I've told y'all this before. We had to fight to keep our relationship, fight for what we wanted. We want to be married. We want to be together. We want to be together until death was apart. But we have to fight to maintain that. And I feel like that's something that people don't know. Sometimes guys, sometimes girls. 
guys fight for what you want yes you get your woman yes you get her but you gotta fight to keep her sometimes it's not just getting her and it's all good no sometimes you still gotta pull out the flowers buy her some flowers sometimes you still gotta tell her baby i love you sometimes you still gotta remind her why you fell in love with her you get what i'm trying to say girls same thing you gotta fight to maintain what you have you gotta maintain it you gotta fight to keep what you have period even until this year we're five years in marriage and things have happened and we had to fight to keep our marriage going fight to keep what you have fight for what you want fight to keep it and fight to maintain it don't forget about what you want sometimes i feel like things happen and we lose sight of our vision we lose sight of what we want so i got one more but before I put this one more, it's 8.25. I gotta go finish getting dressed ready. I gotta finish putting that on and get cute. So I'm gonna cut the camera off and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna spin the block and come back and finish talking to y'all, all right? So I'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the video, all right? I love y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm officially done getting dressed. I just realized that I'm going somewhere after I go somewhere. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to end up changing out of this, putting on a whole different outfit. So I'm not going to be able to show y'all my fit like when I come back home as I thought I would. Because y'all know I do that sometimes. So I'm going to just show y'all it right now. But ooh, yes, y'all, I just felt like being super duper cute. So that's what the heck I did. Um, but yeah, that's my outfit, y'all. I'm going to try to take some pictures real quick and then either include it in this video or something. But that is my outfit so when i do come back home though we're gonna finish talking about it so i appreciate y'all i'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the video hey friends so i am officially back home and i just wanted to wrap this video up cover the last last point of view and we're gonna get into it we're gonna close the video out after this but trust and believe like if you haven't watched scratch i mean from scratch go watch it y'all 10 out of 10 highly recommend especially if you are in a relationship already like go and watch it um so the last point that i want to cover is um Yeah, the last point I have on here, which I kind of touched on it previous, and again, with all due respect to parents, no disrespect to them at all, they are the best. Without them, we would not be here. That aside, follow your own dreams, not the one your parents may want for you. I feel like sometimes like we can fall into the trap of following the dreams that our parents want for us, but make sure you have that dream for yourself and make sure that's what you also want for yourself. Because I feel like if it's what you want for yourself as well, you'll be happier long-term compared to if that's not what you want for yourself you might be miserable and unhappy in a situation that you might not want for yourself so again back to the couple in the video like both of them followed their dreams like she he followed his dream to be a cook his father wanted him to be a farmer boy he felt like he should have stayed in school all of that stuff but he moved out of like where he grew up and he moved to um a different part of italy he's from sicily right yes yeah, sicily italy and um he moved out of sicily to another part of italy followed his dream to be a chef to be a cook and he was an amazing cook y'all because i took some notes from him when he was cooking so he's definitely a good cook um but because he followed his dream as a cook and not the dream that his father had for him to be just a farmer's boy um he met the love of his life y'all and the same thing with the girl like when you look in the, i mean in the starting of the video as well even the girl's father um, wasn't too fond of the girl like becoming an artist and all of that stuff like even when the father went to Italy to meet the future husband he was like this is what you pick why do you pick someone that was more educated blah 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 but again 
follow your own dreams because eventually your parents will come around they will support you they might not understand in the beginning and you can't blame them if they don't fully understand or if they don't see what you see but follow your own dreams y'all because she followed her dreams he followed his dreams they met and they had a beautiful love life a beautiful marriage they had a kid like it was just so 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 beautiful so just follow your dreams again no disrespect to the parents love your parents appreciate them but if they want you to go a certain way and that's not what you want for yourself maybe they want you to go to school if school is not what you feel is for you then don't force yourself to go you know still make something of yourself still pursue a career still pursue a certain path but if school is not for you it's not for you everything might not be for everybody and farming was not for the guy you know what i'm saying so just follow whatever dreams you have and that is pretty much all i have for y'all but i really love this show it was an amazing show it was a 10 out of 10 it was eight episodes i binged watch and i actually finished the show in three nights the first night i watched th three episodes because i was hooked y'all like i was so hooked and then the second night i watched three more episodes and then the last night i watched the last two episodes and the in the like beginning i'm not gonna lie um i don't know maybe i wasn't like tapped into my emotions or something or i don't know but i wasn't as emotional in the beginning like you know there were things that made you say like oh like oh you know but i think it was like the honeymoon phase of the show so i was just like okay is this gonna continue whatever whatever but it's like baby when i got to episode seven oh, i was balling like i was balling my eyes out so you definitely gonna need some tissue you might not cry in the first six episodes like me but episode seven episode eight baby you gonna cry but that aside you will enjoy the show i absolutely loved it i recommend it 10 out of 10 and that's pretty much it um i think i'll just do a quick recap um since it was a long video but first thing like i said i took away i know for sure i want to go to italy like i gotta go to italy it's beautiful the like i felt like i was there when i was watching the um video i mean when i was watching the show second thing your relationship with yourself is just as important as your relationship with others nourish it just as much as you nourish your relationship with others so remember that just the same way you are willing to go above and beyond for other people make sure you're willing to go above and beyond for yourself just as much um third thing live for you not your parents love you parents thank you for having us but you know y'all lived your life let us live our lives okay <laughs> I'm just kidding but um again they may not support your dreams or the person that you're with but keep going they'll eventually come around and even if they don't as long as you're happy it's your life sweetie um the fourth thing fight for what you want the person you love and your dreams etc fight for what you want and once you get what you want remember y'all fight to keep it i'm sick of people that get what they want and they don't fight to keep it like yeah um the last thing again follow your own dreams and not the one your parents may want for you so i love y'all i appreciate y'all watch the show if you watch the show let's talk about it in the comments what did y'all think do y'all agree with my points of views did, did y'all get the same thing did y'all take away the same things that i took away from it did i sell y'all to go watch the show um if you gonna go watch it after this come back tear up the comment sections and just let me know how it go for y'all but i really enjoyed the show it was amazing it was worth it each episode is about like 55 minutes to an hour long so i say if you are oh, casey sorry, sorry, i'm sorry i know you already loud in my background and then now this i'm sorry it makes you hit it bro <sighs> anyways each episode is like about an hour long so so if you're going to watch it make sure you have an hour for each episode or you can break up how um all right bye or you can break up how you decide to watch it but really good show 10 out of 10 highly recommend so i'm gonna see y'all in the next video thank you so much for tuning in if you like this video like it um don't forget to comment and most importantly 
don't forget to subscribe um so i appreciate every single one of y'all i will see you guys in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great bye